Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these medium tote bags. I'm calling this the Brookie Tote Bag. I have five different sizes and I'm going to be teaching you how to make the next size up from the smallest, which is the medium size. Okay, so everything you need is in the following video. I'll have the supplies listed on my blog, in the description under the video, and on my free PDF. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do um, is cut your fabric, and I've already done that. So this is our front fabric, and it measures 12 and a half by nine, and I have two pieces. Then I've got the interfacing that's also 12 and a half by nine, and two pieces. I've got it uh, attached to the back, but I have not pressed it on yet. Then for our lining fabric, that's just slightly smaller than the front fabric, and that's 12 and a quarter by eight and three quarters and two pieces, and then the interfacing is the same measurement, 12 and a quarter by eight and three quarters. I chose the lining fabric to use for my handle, and that measures three inches by 19 inches, and we will work with this much later in the video. I've also got my chicken scratch label, and what we're gonna do now is we're going to press our interfacing to our front fabric and our lining fabric, and I will have the numbers of that interfacing in my supply list, and probably um, on the screen for you too. Okay, so let's get the iron. Okay, so now we're going to press this interfacing onto our fabric, and we are gonna use some steam, and I am gonna do this uh, mainly off of camera. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of it just to remind you to start in the center and then hold your iron on there for a bit, and then We'll finish this one and then I'll do the rest off camera. But I wanted to make sure that you remember to start in the center and work your way out. And then when you're done, you're gonna wanna make sure that it that it attached. You'll see down here that it's not. That's because I didn't get to that point yet. But I'll do the rest of these off camera. It's all the same. You're just pressing the interfacing onto the front fabric and the lining fabric, okay? Okay, so now that we've pressed the interfacing onto our fabric, we're gonna turn these right sides together. This is our front fabric. So we are going to pin or clip the top here. And then over here on the right side. So we're gonna take this piece to the sewing machine and stitch straight across, okay? For the lining fabric, right sides together, but we wanna leave an opening to turn the bag right side out. So we're gonna clip the top and then on the right side as well. So the same thing as the front fabric, but then we're going to use pins to mark where we're gonna leave that opening. So I'm gonna start about there and then end here, okay? We're gonna start with the lining fabric and I am using a quarter inch seam Now we're doing the front fabric. Okay, so we just wrapped up stitching across there. And what we're gonna do now is add our label. So I'm gonna fold this in half. And if you are not adding a label, then you can skip this step. This really only takes a minute. So I'm gonna clip it, make sure your label's straight. I'm gonna clip it first with a wonder clip, and then I'm gonna pin it. Okay, then close this back up, and we're taking this to the sewing machine. We're gonna stitch down both sides. Same thing on the lining fabric. You can see I left my opening um, to pull the bag right sides out and we're just gonna stitch down the right and down the left. I am not gonna show that part of the video because it's really simple. Again, fold that over, stitch down the right, stitch down the left. 
Okay, so we just got done stitching down the left and the right of both pieces. We wanna open up the front fabric and we wanna make sure that we got our label sewn in there. And we did, and I removed the clip. So the next part is we want to box the corners. So I'm gonna get the tools really quick to do that. Okay, we're using a erasable marker and a Creative Grids ruler, and we're gonna be using the measurement of one and a half to box our corners. So what I'm gonna do is line up my ruler with the seam, not the edge of the fabric, but my stitch line, okay? So um, whichever way you wanna use this, I'm gonna use this one and a half. So I'm gonna open my pen and then one and a half is right here, so that's on that stitch line. And then one and a half over here is also on the stitch line. So I'm gonna Trace a line. Okay, there's that one. And then we're gonna do one and a half over here. Same thing. We're looking at the seam, the stitch line, not the edge of the fabric. And this is one and a half. Now, if you wanted a four inch bottom, then you would use two inches. And I do use that size on some of the other size bags that I make. Making sure my opening's at the top. Okay, so now we're gonna take some sharp scissors and we are going to cut this square out. I guess it looks more like a rectangle. Um, Okay, the next step is we are going to box the corners. So I'm gonna get my pins again, or clips, and I'm going to alternate the direction that this goes, and that's gonna hold that in place. And I'm gonna use two. And then now clip this side. And I wanna make sure that this is going in the same direction as the other one. I'll add two clips to this one as well. Okay, so we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch straight across on both sides. Now let's do the same thing to the lining fabric. Same thing, we're gonna take this to the sewing machine, we're gonna stitch straight across. I will show you this, this step, okay? Okay, I am using a quarter inch seam. Okay, so we're done sewing the bottom of our bag. Now what we wanna do is turn our front of the basket or bag right side out. Okay, and I'm pushing out those corners. Now we're just gonna set this aside for now and we're gonna work on the handle. So I'm gonna get my ironing board and we're gonna take care of this. So for both pieces of the handle, we want to fold them in half. Okay, I'm only gonna do one on camera because they're the exact same thing. So to speed this video along, I'm just gonna do one of the handles and you'll repeat the same process for the second handle, okay? Now, we'll move that one out of the way. What you're gonna do is fold down this edge on both sides about a quarter of an inch. There is a tool that you can use 
um, yeah, there is a tool you can use, and I will link that in my um, in the description and on my PDF. I can't remember what it's called. I do use it sometimes. Now, before I add the um, interface and inside there, I want to make sure that it lines up okay. So I'm going to fold it over like that. Okay, now we're ready for the fusible fleece interfacing. This measures one inch by 19 inches. And we're just going to place it inside here. And now you see why we folded that edge down. And before I iron this, I'm also going to trim it um, because we do not want to get that on our iron. So let's fold this all the way up and there's just a smidge poking out there. Make sure you remove that so that you don't, it doesn't get stuck to your ironing board in there. Okay, now we're ready to press it. And then after we press it, we're going to sew it. Okay, so now we've got handle number one ready. We're gonna take it to the sewing machine. We're gonna stitch down this right side and the left side with a 1 8 stitch line. So, or, um, yeah, 1 8 so half of a quarter. It's really small. I use the inside of my foot for that guide. So I will see you over at the sewing machine where I will be sewing both of these, okay? Okay, so now we're sewing the handles. Again, we're gonna sew down the right side and the left side. I'm using the inside of my foot, which is about an eighth of a seam, okay? Okay, so now we're going to add the handles to the front of our bag. And what I've got here is a ruler that will go across the entire bag. So it measures just shy of 12. So we know that six inches is pretty much the halfway point, right? Hopefully you can see all that. So all I'm gonna do is take a pan. Actually, I wanna slide this up a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, so I'm marking the six inches. That's the very middle of this. And then now I want to mark to the left of it and to the right of it. And I'm gonna use two and a half inches. Now it's easier to use a smaller ruler for that. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is mark, so I'm starting at the one inch. Well, let's do this way. So I'm starting right here and go into the two and a half. So I'm gonna mark it right there. And now I'm gonna mark two and a half inches on the right side. Okay, so we're gonna take the first handle and we're gonna place it parallel with the pen and we're going to clip it. Then we're gonna make sure the handle is straight and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna line up the other handle with the, with the, with the other handle. <laughs> so where that clip is, 
And we've also still got our pin in place, so you can see that it's lining up perfectly. So there's that. Again, make sure your handle is straight. And then we're going to clip it. Now we can take our pins out and we can't sew with those clips in place and that's what's holding the handle. So now we're gonna replace the clip with pins. And you just wanna make sure that you've got it straight and pin it. Same thing here. Now flip it over and do the front side. Now we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch across here using a 1 8 stitch line, okay? So 1 8 not a quarter, an eighth. You can do a quarter if you want, but I use an eighth, okay? Okay, so I've just sewn the handles on and you can see there they are. You also wanna trim those extra threads um, and now what we're ready to do is take our lining fabric and open that up just like that. And then we're going to place this inside here and make sure that you keep those handles somewhat straight, especially up at the top. We're going to start on one side of the bag and we're going to line up the seam. Okay, so I'm going to take this seam, go left, and on the inside it's going to the right, and I'm going to clip it. And I'm using two clips because of the sewing machine that I have. It doesn't have room for the larger clips, and but the smaller ones don't hold as well. <laughs> so I'm using two, but if you use the regular clips and you and they will fit on your sewing machine, then use those. Okay, same thing on this seam. So two clips, because I'm holding the outside piece and then I'm holding the inside one, okay? Now I wanna make sure that everything is straight. And see, I can tell that my handle is kind of pulling. So I wanna make sure that I keep that nice and flat. And pin or clip. How many times do I mix up and say pen or clip when it's supposed to be a pen and pen when it's supposed to be a clip? <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Now, let's go over to this side. Same thing. I want to make sure it's straight. Okay, now we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew around the entire top and you can use a quarter inch seam or you can use an eighth of an inch, whatever you prefer. That had a little ripple in it, so I wanted to straighten that. Okay, so I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, I'm gonna sew with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so we just sewed across the entire top of the bag, and now we're gonna use this hole down here in the lining to turn it right sides out. So ever so slightly, I'm just pulling that out. Okay, so you want to push out those corners in both the lining fabric and the front fabric. Make sure that it's sealed up and there's no holes around the top of the bag and it looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we wanna do is close that opening in the lining, okay? So just going to get this positioned like that Sometimes when you have that interfacing on there, it makes it a little um, thick to work with. So just make sure it folds down. And these clips are wonderful for holding that. Okay. 
and I'm going to pin where I'm going to start sewing. So I'm going to sew from here to here and close that up. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm not going to show you that step. It's really simple. I'm going to start sewing right here and go straight across. Okay, so I've just sewn from here to here, closing up that opening. And now I'm going to trim those threads. And then now we can turn our bag right side out or flip the lining in. <laughs> so we just have two more steps. We're going to stitch around the entire top of the bag and then we're going to press it. I probably won't press it on camera just because you know how to iron, right? Um, but, oh my gosh, isn't this fabric just so beautiful? I absolutely love it. Okay, so again, I'm going to clip and I am rolling the edges of, of this bag. If you've made one of these, then you know what it's doing. <laughs> I have a hard time explaining it, but yeah. I see an extra thread there. Sometimes I clip too much. Um, some people don't even clip at all. <laughs> I may get there one day, right? Okay, same thing. I'm not going to record the, the filming or the sewing of this because all I'm going to do, I'm going to start in my seam right here and I'm gonna stitch all the way around, and I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam. So I'll be right back. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna record it, but I decided I would. Um, I'm going to sew around the entire top of the bag with a quarter inch seam, and I'm starting in that seam right there. Okay, so we just stitched across the entire top of the bag. The next step is you want to uh, cut all those threads and then we want to uh, press it because you can see it's kind of wrinkly. Now for this size bag, I usually use my regular iron uh, ironing board, but I can't fit that thing up here. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my sleeve board. And you know what, I will finish pressing this uh, off camera. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna show you the other sizes too in just a minute, so. Okay, so here's this one. This is the one that we just made. I will show you the other sizes in just a second so that you can compare them. But this is probably my favorite size. Okay, this is the size that we just made, my favorite. This is the original size that I made. I don't know when. And then here is a bigger size, so you can kind of compare the two of these. A um, little bit bigger. And then here is another size, and I really like this one too. They're all, they all have different measurements, but they're made exactly the same way. So my PDF will have all those measurements listed for you so that you can make all four of these. I actually have a fifth size, which is even larger. I'll include those measurements as well. You guys will have to let me know which is your favorite. Yeah, you've seen this one before. This is the one we just made. I love this one. Okay, thanks so much for watching.